It was abandoned for almost a hundred years, completely abandoned, with the doors open. Everybody could come inside and do anything they wanted for a hundred years. At the end of these one hundred years of abandonment, the religious order, the Jesuits, bought the palace at the public auction in 1890. Uh, and ever since, they are the legitimate owners of this palace, the Jesuits. In case you didn't know, the Jesuits are considered to be the largest male religious order in the Catholic Church. And they are the owners. But why did they buy this palace? Why did the Jesuits want this palace? Because Francis Borgia, one of the most important Jesuits ever, was born in this palace. And he was from the Borgia family. He was the Pope's great-grandson. Okay? He was born on the 28th of October, 1510. In 2010, he celebrated 500 years of his birth, his fifth centenary. Francis Borgia will be the main character in our tour. Okay? That's why in this room, I'm going to comment a little upon this painting, because it will help you understand why Francis Borgia, who was a Jesuit, so he was a, a Duke of Noble, he was the Duke of Gandia, after a series of unfortunate events in his life, made the decision of becoming a religious man, of becoming a Jesuit. Okay? This is when Francis... in this last room, we've got a rope across here. Mm -hmm. A thousand is five hundred times, it doesn't look like it, but there are a thousand and five hundred. They go from large to narrow. Oh, good. The yes, four elements. Yes, yes. in for the photo. I'm also in the photo. Thank you. What is your place? Bamboo Garden, we've already spoken about, which is the private courtyard of the Jesuits. And if we, if we look on the other side, the first thing you are going to see, because you can already hear them, is the playground of the school run by the Jesuits. They also have a school inside the house, which is right underneath, and that's the playground of the school. <laughs> Uh, 
crowns assembly hall, and the name is given by the crown is painted on the ceiling. The people of the crown can see them. They also have them on the floor if you want to see them better. Those crowns were the symbol of the Pope Alexander VI. And this symbol was known as a double crown, because if, if you look carefully, there are two crowns, right? Mm -hmm. But why are there two crowns? Because of the two popes in the Borgia family, before Alexander VI, who is the most famous or infamous pope, you can easily tell the difference between the old ones and the new ones. Okay? These, tiles, these tiles, unlike all the other tiles we have seen up until now, these tiles have contoured, they are raised. Okay? The other ones were completely flat. And this is a characteristic of the tiles made in Seville. Okay? If you have been to the Alhambra, for example, they also have plenty of tiles like this in there. As for the canvases inside the chapel, but I would like you to know that this room of the palace, before it was transformed into a chapel by the Jesuits in the 20th, this room used to be Francis Borges' office. He was the Duke of Gandia, and in this space he had his office. But when the Jesuits bought the palace, after the 100 years of abandonment, they realized that the office was in a very bad condition. So that's why they made the decision of changing it into a chapel. And that was in the 20th, okay? But if we look at the decoration of this chapel, you'll see that there is nothing painted in the middle part of the wall. It is completely empty on both sides. And that's because the person who was in charge of the decoration of this chapel, who is the same person who painted the canvases from the other room, the Jesuit, Martin Coronas, he died before he would finish the decoration. <laughs> so he left it unfinished. Like so many times happened. How is it going out? I don't know. What's his step? Well, I don't know. I haven't tried it yet. Not that I've ever seen it. Not lately, anyway. They look very nice, but they are not original. They were built by the Jesuits in the 20th, simply because they wanted to separate or indicate the exact place where the saint was born. The only thing left of that room in which she was born, unfortunately, is the again floor. It is one of the oldest floors in the Yeah, I'm just going to